Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to monitor tokenization job using CTAS. CTAS stands for Create Table As. So it is a database syntax. And what is the use of this? So those are the things we are going to see in today's tutorial. In the earlier session, we have seen what is tokenization process, how to monitor tokenization process using log files, how to improve the performance of tokenization process. And if you remember, while improving the tokenization process performance, we have to use the CTAS functionality with CTAS syntax. We have to just enable in the database side. So the C repos table it is the table where we have to update this CTAS property. Like for example, you can increase the ratio value or you can increase the the, uh, the actual limit value for the CTAS. Once we increase that value, how to monitor the tokenization process, how to check whether it's working properly in the log file. What are the log lines we have to monitor? Those are the things we are going to see in today's session. So first of all, we need to know when this CTAS get triggered. The CTAS get triggered at various level. It is definitely get triggered during the tokenization process based on your configuration. It also get triggered during the match and merge. The reason is these are the processes where the lots of temporary table get created. Either they can use the existing tables or they can create a new table. So based on the requirement, whether they really need to create a new table or not, or it is just update is enough, self-sufficient to have the optimum performance. Based on those configuration, these tables get created. So CTAS is not specific to tokenization. It is used for the multiple processes within Informatica MDM. Now the let's consider the very first case. Right now we are able to see the MDM hub console. Um, it has the match and merge as a job once you hit the match and merge job depend on the configuration like if you have enabled the tokenization we know that before the match job the tokenization runs but if you enable the tokenization on load then the tokens will be generated when the records get loaded also we can execute the tokenization job individually also so based on the need you can hit the tokenization job doesn't matter in which the way what are the way you are using to generate the tokens the C task get executed make sure you have to configure that values and that based on the optimum value the C task will be executed so let's go ahead and see what are the log lines we have to trace down in the log file so what if tokenization process uses C task in earlier scenario while monitoring the tokenization we saw that there is a case where the CTAS was not getting used so it is less very straightforward simple the start of tokenization uh, creation of temporary table executing the SSA process executing the SQL load and the end of process so in between the execution of the SSA process after the start of the a tokenization job there is a step which checks whether CTAS is is getting used or not and that is very vital process and vital important step so in earlier case we saw the CTAS was not getting used but in today's session we'll see in case if CTAS getting used what are the log lines which we have to monitor as a process of tokenization the very first thing we need to check whether the tokenization job is started or not how can we check just monitor the log line start off verify need to strip log line in a cmx server dot log file we have to make sure the log label either it should be debug or info if you are using error log then if you are using the error log label you will not be able to see this log line next thing we have to check how many records are candidate for generating tokens in this case it is highlighted in a red color 
160040 records are eligible for token generation. Now we have to make sure that CTAS is started. We have to verify the logs to check CTAS start. First of all, we will see the base object record count is some number like here 160040. 30 record count is 480004. So those are the candidate for uh, token generation. Then the very next line which tells us the CTAS is getting used. Strip ratio is 292. Complete strip ratio is 50. Strip CTAS delete ratio is 50. Strip CTAS delete limit is like 400k. So these lines or this configuration tells us yes CTAS is getting used. You'll see the further lines also direct restripping all data since 292% of data needs to be stripped and complete strip ratio is 50. So based on the previous log line information it is going to generate tokens for all records in your system as the strip ratio is higher than the limit. Before strip rows to strip that will be depend on the strip all API interrupt on strip ratio that is 295, 292. So based as the value is higher it is going to regenerate. So what does it mean? It is going to update the tokens table that is strip table. Updating whole set of data is going to take a long time. It will be more easy if we use the create as or create table as. So first we have to drop the existing table, create the new table. Those are the steps need to be executed for the better performance. Now, okay, here is the need because the strip ratio is higher. So we need to use a CTAS. So CTAS what internally does, it creates the temporary table and the name of temporary table is t$stl. A temporary table t$stl will be created as a CTAS process. So if someone asks you what is STL table or t$stl table, you should be able to answer the t$stl table is a temporary table get created by CTAS process for better performance of tokenization job. What is the syntax of the C, uh, T dollar STL table? It looks like T dollar STL underscore B underscore party. So what are the base object name you have? It just prefix with the T dollar or sorry a suffix with the T dollar STL. Then it has add some additional column and the constraint based on the, the structure of strip table that is strp table. strp table if you see it has the columns such as ssa key, ssa data etc. The similar kind of structure will be created in the stl table. Once this table is get created the next thing is we have to populate that table. So hence we need the sql loader. Once the table is created as a part of CTAS process, SQL loader will start loading the strip, uh, loading the tokens in that table. Of course, it uses the temporary files, which looks like TMP dot for TMP dot log, something like that. So the key, uh, it one of the file has the data, the other file maintains the logs of that process. So based on these files, the job will start executed and populate the template table. And you'll see something like that. Tokenization, tokenized producer finish processing. BO record rate is like 500048. Total record rate is the same count. So it is reading all the records because it is going to push all those records into that template table. Then we'll get the key writer, DB load complete, receive the, the number of record which we have in the system and then it will process that big chunk into small small amount like if you see right now it is processed 200700 uh, in the one thread in the second thread the same amount in the third thread is little less amount like 200648 something like that and eventually the total count will become the 50048 so it will divide into multiple thread and process it then you will see the next line strip delete manager will use CTAS so this is going to use the CTAS to populate that strip table. Now once the STR, uh, STL table get populated, means 
once we done with the populating the temporary table the next step is move the data from the temporary table into the SGRP table and you will see that statement saying that verify below entry of conversion of t dollar stl to SGRP table and the log line will say rename t dollar stl b party to cb party strp so it is going to drop the strip table so hence rename the stl stl table into the strp table so if you are using the role based uh, privileges like suppose you have the production environment and the users are given the role based privileges to this metadata table like strp so if the S status is getting used then strip table is going to drop so make sure once this process is complete assign or give the privileges again back to those users who are looking for this table <coughs> this is just additional information so this rename will happen and the strip table again will be created and the final step happen is nothing but the end of tokenization process you can you can completely or confidently say that the tokenization process is completed by looking at the log line strip based completed records process 500048 and it will give the how much time it took to complete the job so elapsed time like 49.7 seconds something like that so by this way you can monitor the tokenization job by uh, looking at the status enable properties here is the summary we have to check the start of tokenization number of records for the eligible for tokenization st use of the sitas then the strip table uh, st sl table creation sql loader execution and the final is conversion of sl to strip and you can conclude with the tokenization process completion with the number of records and the time elapsed for this process so these are the steps you have to look or you, these are the log lines we have to check in the log file in order to assure that the tokenization process is using CTAS and the performance is quite better than the normal process. I hope this tutorial is going to help you to analyze the logs in a better way. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or queries about any topic about Informatica MDM or Hadoop or microservices or data modeling you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time